Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve a registry file driver exception error you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So if you're coming across this blue screen error message in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best result, should go back with device manager. Go ahead and left click on that. Go ahead and expand the display adapter service and then whatever is under here go ahead and right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select whatever one is most applicable so if there's a basic one you can do it otherwise select the more manufacturer specific one and then select the next. and then should it has successfully updated your drivers. Do the same thing now for the sound, video, and game controllers. And you want to go right click on that, update the driver. Again, browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And go ahead and select whatever default one is listed here and then select yes. It should say it has successfully updated your drivers. Select close. And now you'll also want to go do the same thing for the network adapter one. Okay, so it should have successfully updated the drivers. Go ahead and select close. Close it here. Okay, another thing we try here would be to open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, and then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in your keyboard to begin running the scan. It will take some time, so please be patient.
Okay, so it looks like it has found corrupt files and has repaired them. However, we are going to run a couple more commands before we restart our system. First one is going to be a scan health command, so go ahead and copy that, and then go up the top part of the command prompt window once you've copied it, and then right click on it, select edit, and then paste to paste it in. Give it a moment to run here, and then we're going to have one more we're going to run after this. It's going to be another DISM command, except it's going to be restore health. So now we got one more command we're going to run, like I said, so just copy from my description. This is going to be the restore health command, and go up the top bar, again, of the command prompt window, right-click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. It appears we might have mistyped it, so let me go paste in another one here, hit enter. I think there might have been a small grammatical or syntax error, so you can see now it's scanning. I will have the uh, correct one in the description here. Might have just been an accidental space somewhere in here. If I just look through it, I could probably find it, but you can see we have another one running here. Again, it's the DISM space forward slash online, space forward slash cleanup minus sign or dash image, then space forward slash restore health, and that's the one we're running right here. So just give this a moment here. Okay, so once that is done, it says the restore operation completed successfully. Go ahead and close out of here, and now restart your computer.
Okay, so there you go, guys. Our computer has restarted, and that is about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you guys out. And, as always, thanks for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.